Welcome back to the Patches Unlocked. We attempt to unlock the Bible one verse at a time. Life is full of experiences, both shared and personal. And as Christians, we are called to learn and grow from each of them. The Bible teaches us that we will face challenges and even make mistakes. But God's grace is always available to help us to rise above our failures. As God's people, we must learn from our mistakes, walking in the light of Christ and repenting when we fall. Romans 3.23 reminds us, For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. The human experience is universal in this way. Even after we have been obedient to God, including being baptized for the remission of our sins, no one is immune to failure. But our response to sin is what sets us apart as His followers. We know that when we have sinned, we are instructed to confess and repent, that is, to turn back to God. 1 John 1 and verse 9 encourages us with powerful promises like this. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us of our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. You see, God's mercy does not leave us to wallow in guilt and shame. Instead, it calls us to walk in his light even after we have stumbled. So what does learning from our mistakes look like for Christians? Let's explore three biblical principles that can be our guide. Number one, recognize our need for repentance and confession. Acknowledging our mistakes is the very first step in learning from them. When we sin, it can be tempting to try to hide our failures, much like Adam and Eve did in the Garden of Eden, recorded in Genesis 3, 8 through 10. However, hiding from God can only prolong the damage caused by sin. The Bible teaches us to be honest about our sins, confessing them to God and, when necessary, even to others. James 5.16 says, Confess your trespasses one to another and pray one for another that you may be healed. There is healing in confession, not just spiritual healing, but also emotional and even relational healing as well. When we bring our sins into the light, we allow God to work in us and through the people that he places around us. Confession also provides us an opportunity for accountability and the support of fellow believers. Learning from our mistakes requires humility. We must be willing to face our sins and repent and ask God for forgiveness. This is only the starting point for spiritual growth and healing. Number two. Embrace discipline and correction. Another key to learning from our mistakes is to embrace the correction and discipline that follows. Proverbs 3, 11 and 12 says, My son, do not despise the chastening of the Lord, nor detest his correction. For whom the Lord loves, he corrects, just as the father, the son, in whom he delights. You see, God's discipline is not meant to harm us, but to shape us into the likeness of Christ. When we make mistakes, God uses them as opportunities to correct us and, of course, to teach us valuable lessons. It's essential to maintain our posture of openness to God's discipline, understanding that it is a sign of His love for us. Rather than resisting correction by becoming discouraged by it, we should embrace it. Hebrews 12, 11. That reminds us that no chastening seems joyful for the present, but painful. Nevertheless, after it yields its peaceable fruit, watch this, of righteousness to those who have been trained by it. God's correction leads to greater righteousness, peace, and wisdom. Number three. Seek wisdom and learn from the experience of others. The Bible teaches us that learning from our mistakes is not something we have to do in isolation. Uh, we are part of the body of Christ, and we can draw wisdom from the experiences of others. Proverbs 19.20 encourages us by saying, Listen to the counsel and receive instruction that you may be wise in your latter days. By observing the lives of other biblical figures and even fellow believers, we can avoid many pitfalls. For instance, David sinned with Bathsheba, as recorded in 2 Samuel 11, and his subsequent repentance, as recorded in Psalm 51, they provide for us a powerful example of the human frailty and of God's mercy. David's story teaches about the consequences of sin and the necessity of repentance and the transformative power of God's forgiveness. In fact, the entirety of the Old Testament is filled with lessons that we can learn. See Romans 15, 4 and 1 Corinthians 10, 11, which both remind us how important the Old Testament truly is. 
God often places people in our lives to provide guidance and counsel based on their experiences. Learning from their wisdom can prevent us from repeating the same mistakes. Moreover, when we openly share our struggles, we contribute to a culture of transparency and growth within the body of Christ. So what does all this mean? It means we should walk in the light and continue learning. As God's people, we have things in common, chief among us the reality that we all make mistakes and even sin. However, we are not defined by our failures. Instead, we are called to learn from them, to walk in the light, and to repent when we fall short. God's promise is clear in 1 John chapter 1 and verse 9 that if we confess our sins, He is faithful and just to forgive us. Through repentance and discipline and learning from both our mistakes and the experiences of others, we can grow in the wisdom and the righteousness of God. May we seek God's guidance and embrace correction and learn from our shared experiences as we journey together in Christ. Thank you for joining me again on The Passage Unlocked, where we strive to unlock the Bible one verse at a time. Let me encourage you, if you're not already subscribed to this channel right now, today is the very perfect time to do that. I'm begging of you to go ahead and do that. That helps to get these messages out even farther than the audience that we have at the present. Thank you again for joining me today. And until next time, please stay faithful, my friends.